Okay, I think this is going to be a pretty simple shape to create. We're going to make the gun sight on here. So I just started off with a polygon cube, moved it roughly into position, and based off the reference going on in the side view, try to get the uh, overall kind of length for this. So again, the uh, side view shot that I made for this is not exactly orthographic. So there's a little bit of distortion in the image and I kind of have to account for that. So I was looking at other pieces of reference to kind of know a little bit about the dimensions on some of this. So uh, again, it was just a pretty simple shape. And once I had this, just added uh, with the multi-cut tool, some other additional splits and through the geometry and through here and add another split kind of going down here. Then I'll just take these points, move them down and snap them actually to uh, the points below. And then I can select all the points and do a uh, merge vertices with that low uh, tolerance on there. So I'm deleting some of the edges away that I don't need anymore for the shape. And then uh, control right click on an edge and we can go to the edge loop and delete. And I'll get rid of all the uh, edges and verts that we don't need. And then now I'm just checking the overall thickness of this and kind of making sure it's about the right thickness. This gets a little tapered down on the end, so I selected those verts, scale them in a little bit. Now I need to kind of do a taper on all these verts here, and uh, to do that I wanted her to deform, use the lattice deformer, and just got those uh, top points for the last deformer, and then just scale that in, and that'll give you that kind of angle within through here. Uh, select the object, delete the history, Alt-Shift-D for that. And then on here, then I started using the multi-cut tool to start hardening all the edges and with the support edges. Now, what I could have done is selected all the edges in this model and then just used the bevel function. That's a possibility, but uh, I felt like this might be a little bit cleaner as far as uh, the end results. So I just went through and again, adding all the support edges that I need to kind of hold this. And we're getting pretty close here. When I get done with this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just check it. Tap 3 for the Smooth Mesh Preview. I'm going to go ahead and delete history. Uh, change the name of this to Site Block. Group that to uh, Control G. And then I just called that Site. And then went ahead and added a cylinder. The creation options for that, I think it was like 8 sides for that. Just rotated it 90 degrees. Snapped it in the middle of this block piece here and scaled it to be the right size. Tap three for smooth mesh preview. Got rid of the faces on the end, so it'll just make a cylinder like this. Uh, call that site rod. Put that in the group and uh, should be good to go there. And just assigning the AI standard shader to that. And that's everything you need for this model.